Adriana, you've been on the scene for several hours covering this for us today. What are you hearing tonight? Hey, Tashara, that's right. And it has been five grueling hours of this ongoing situation at Congregation Beth Israel. Five hours. I mean, can you imagine for the people who are inside every minute? Uh, we really, really hope that this ends well for them. Uh, but we know right now still a very active situation with multiple law enforcement agencies involved. I mean, you see the video and you get the scope of what we're dealing with here. This is a hostage situation that we first learned about from police at around 1130 this morning. And we can tell you there was a service underway when the suspect held people hostage. That service was being live streamed and it, it has since been taken down, like you all mentioned. And there's not much we can share about that at this point. I know a lot of people want information, but really we know there's an active negotiation underway and we don't want to interfere with that investigation that's happening. But still a lot of unanswered questions right now. Like at this point, we haven't been able to confirm how many people are being held hostage and calling both police tell us no one has been injured inside and that negotiations with the suspect are still underway inside. The FBI is on scene here taking the lead. We know DPS is also here. Now, just to kind of give you a scope of where we are here, we're down the block from congregation of Bethel Israel. We're at Good Shepherd's Catholic Church. Uh, this is just down the road. There are houses surrounding uh, both uh, places of worship with uh, this big, pretty big neighborhood here. And, you know, I want to mention one thing is there is Catholic mass happening right now. People are walking into the Catholic, ch Catholic Church uh, and just down the road you have this hostage situation underway. So kind of a, a bizarre uh, feeling that you get seeing that, but we are monitoring this, uh, looking for any updates. We hope to learn more soon because there are still a lot of unanswered questions. And again, we really hope that this ends uh, with nobody being hurt. We're live in Colleyville, sending it back to you.